going to happen. Well, it's awesome one's going to come out first. <laughs> I would want to come out first, get the jump start on those guys. That's what I would like. Fans here. Very excited. Mm -hmm. Well, here they come. They're entering. <coughs> It's the original ones. Of course, Camino, led by their captain, Shap Awesome, leading the way. Along with Stan the Man Lee, Camino, the big guy in the back. And of course, last but not least, of course, we know Nathan Drake. So seeing how we know who is coming out next, we're going to skip them coming down. We know that they're together. And they're ready for a war. Don't want to take the... We have no control over the outcomes of the match, folks. However, <laughs> for time constraints, we very well may improve to the others. As we await their arrival, I'm just going to go ahead and go like this, folks. I'll And there you see them. There goes the lights. <laughs> we see Nathan Drake made his way into the ring as well. And now we await the social outcasts, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Read by their captain. Of course, the, the unpredictable one himself. Brock Brown. Oh, boy. And here they come. Brock Brown. Toxies. Little Sweet and the Noid, who you can't even see because Brock Brown towers over him. Making their way to the ring is the Social Outcasts. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to skip this. Of course, the champion, Brock Brown, like I said, and here we go. So this is a Team Warfare match, folks. Very simple. Um, pinfalls, submissions, knockouts anywhere in the building. Last team, person representing a team standing is the winners. And I am told that if the Awesome Ones are able to win here, then Shop Awesome will earn an opportunity at the championship against Brock Brown on our next show. As Nathan Drake, who just makes his return here, and of course in grand fashion, I might say, as he's starting things off here with the Noid. Oh boy. And Drake doesn't look like he missed a step at all. Sometimes when you are away from the ring for a long period of time, you wonder if you're going to get ring rust. Of course, the Noid is another one who ha we haven't seen quite a bit. Same thing goes for Toxie. We don't really know what they have to offer yet. And Nathan Drake welcomes Little Sweet, who he knows all too well, into the ring with a nice tornado DDT. Nathan Drake looking to take things control right here. Oof, Nathan Drake not laying off on Little Sweet. I see a tag here, and here comes the the mind of Marvel, ladies and gentlemen. It is good old Stan the Man Lee, <laughs> dressed as the Punisher, looks like. Snap there. Stomping on the head now of Little Sweet. Of course, again, 
stay in the man lead, not is very familiar with all of these individuals. And there's the tag again to the Noid. Well, oh, everyone jumps off. <laughs> not only anybody wants to tag out to take on the stand the man lead because doesn't let his age fool you folks he's double tough as Stan Lee takes it to the Noid as he is not a fan of dominoes at all he gets a one count uh oh Stan the man Lee belly to belly suplex tagged to his longtime friend and protege the leader of the awesome one, Sharp Awesome, who goes in for the cover without doing anything. Can't win it that way. But it's smart. Spinning back kick. Uh oh. Nice takedown. Helping up the Noid. Don't worry, it's not for good reasons, folks. Ooh, press slam. Knock an arrow, rally. Notice how the awesome ones are keeping the Noid isolated, which is smart strategy. Talks Avengers in there now. It looks like he isn't show, he isn't shied down either. Look at get the tag. Oh, Stan the Man Lee coming back in to take on the massive Toxie. To Max Toxie looks like he's gotten some good action in there. Looks like he's gotten in some better shape than the last time we've seen him. Still not dressed like everyone else in the world, but what do you expect? Stand the Man Lee dumps Toxie to the outside as we see Shap Awesome trying to recover from getting pummeled. And Stand the Man Lee showing off that athleticism. Again, I can't, I can't emphasize enough. Don't count Stan Lee out because of his age. Gets a two count on the Toxic Avenger. Toxie. Now sent back into the ring. And there's the tag to the big guy. The first time we'll see him in the ring thus far. And he goes after Toxie and goes right down the gullet. Trying to knock out Toxie with that mandible claw. The anime enthusiast, Kamino, with a stunner. And Toxie looking to get out. And there's the tag to the champion. Here comes Brock Brown, folks. The unpredictable one who... Oh, he caught... Camino with a drop kick. Well, Camino using the speed. You have to do that with Brock Brown, that's for sure. It's a one count. Camino taking it to Brock Brown with a very little hesitation, which you have to do. And gets a two count on the champion. That would be a huge upset. Brock Brown mocking the Oss awesome one, saying if anyone who pins him, granted the the leader will get a championship opportunity, but he says if anyone pins him, he will give that person a championship opportunity. That goes to show you his I don't want to say arrogance, I'd say his his confidence level. Brock Brown's not your traditional superstar. Well, look at him, for one thing. <laughs> Definitely doesn't look like a normal superstar. He is the unpredictable one, and he has quite a bit of a cult following as Camino. In insult to injury to Brock Brown. I don't know if I would do that, because Brock Brown does not like being angry, and... Most people don't like that either. The end result of Brock Brown getting angry. Uh-oh, Camino. 
Camille's got to keep Brock Brown away from his corner. And it is a smart strategy for the most part. Osborne seems to be isolating them, but Brown reverses. There's the blind tag. In comes Nathan Drake. Drake, who has a history with Brock Brown, takes the big guy down with some various kicks. Oh, Brown with a kick to the head, however. Nathan Drake's been out of the action for a little while. It makes his return right here. Knife edge chop. That's like getting hit with a tree stump, by the way, folks. Brock Brown's double power. Sent to the corner is Nathan Drake. He's got to be careful not to get caught in that Brock Abilla. Uh-oh. And, oh no. Speaking of which, we could very well see the Brock Abilla right now. And yep, that's what we're going to see. Brock Abilla. Boom. Right on the mark. Is that enough to put away Nathan Drake? No, Drake kicks out at two. Long two count. Brock Brown can't believe it. Nathan Drake looking to come back. And when you want to make a return, you want to do it the best way possible. Ooh, what a move. Spanish fly by Nathan Drake. There's a tag to Toxie, and Nathan Drake doesn't know. And Toxie just reminded him, let him know that he was <laughs> in there with a clothesline. Toxie's outside. Oh, boy. Choke slam coming up. One arm choke slam. Wonderfully done. Ugh. Now that these social outcasts are back together again, this should probably send shivers down the spine of a lot of guys in the uh, in the industry. Brock Brown already the icon champion. I'm sure a little sweet and Noid would love to have the tag team titles around their waist. And imagine Toxie as the MMA Grand Prix champion. As Nathan Drake now taking control of Toxie anyway. Uh-oh. That's not good news. Nathan Drake knocked out. Courtesy of Toxie. Who's going to come in there? Stan the Man Lee, folks. Who gets caught in the ropes. Oh, no. Poor Stan. Stan the Man Lee got, cut, got caught in the ropes, and Toxie just powerbombed out of the yin-yang there. Gets a two count. Stan the man Lee, so the awesome one's down a person already. Uh-oh, not that. Tombstone pile driver. That could be it. Oh, Stan Lee, how about that? Kicks out at two. Uses to go down without a fight as he takes it back to Toxie. Toxie on the ropes. Leo sends off. Ooh, kitchen sink. Not going to win a lot of matches with it, but it's very effective. Well, he keep it, keeping the pressure on Toxie. He knows that too well. Oh, Toxie catches Stan the man. Lee with an elbow. Oh, Lee with a roll up. Oh, gets a one count. Referee wasn't completely in position there. As now Toxie is saying, oh, Toxie is saying, stand back in the ring. I think he wants to end it in the ring. Uh-oh. Sidewalk slam. Everything Toxie does is powerful. And there comes the powerhouse of the awesome ones with a spear. And Toxie's had enough and he tags in a little sweet. Awesome one so far. I've lost Nathan Drake, the returning. Nathan Drake, I should say. I think got a little overzealous. As now Camino in there with Little Sweet. To 
Firmino showing off his power. <laughs> A little sweet. What's he doing here? Taking forever is what Little Sweet's doing, making a mistake. Camino was in the corner for a little while, and he probably could have fouled up. He didn't do so, and now Camino just let him know that that wasn't a good idea. As Camino now goes to the high rent district, look out here. He can fly, ooh, into the ribs. Little Sweet catches the young man with the knees into the ribs. That'll do it. Sometimes it's cool to do the flippy stuff, but it is a risk. That's why they call it a high risk. But we're in here comes the Noid. Noid now sending Camino to the corner. I'd have to say that without Camino, the chances of Shaf Awesome and Stan Lee are tough, but it is possible. They are the veterans of the team. Camino, you know, kind of new to the whole equation, really. Uh oh. And the Noid looking for a DDT. What a DDT, and Camino's out. And this is the scenario we talked about. And if anyone can represent the awesome ones, it would be these two. And there's a spear by Shaf Awesome into the cover. And there goes the Noid. Thanks for coming. And now goes to the outside. Shaf Awesome going to use some wrestling strategy here. Here comes a little sweep. Who falls into the counter and look at that smart maneuvering there by Shaf Awesome there trying to psych out a little sweet which is not easy to do shot to the ribs the awesome ones are down by one there are three members of the awesome ones of the social outcasts oops Inzagiri and now measuring perhaps no and Shap Awesome feeling pretty good about himself, as rightfully he should. A little Sweet looking to get a tag, that's a mistake. I wouldn't allow a Little Sweet to make a tag, and Shap Awesome smartly doesn't. Sends a Little Sweet to the corner, and now we can see some of that tandem offense, maybe, and maybe not. As he places a Little Sweet on the top rope, got to follow up. Way too much time taking place. A shop awesome with all oh, this isn't gonna be pretty. Hold on here. Goes for the ride. There's the suplex in the Falcon Arrow into the cover. And oh long two count. Couldn't get closer than that. Shop awesome pretty pretty good about himself. Stanley wants to cover a tag or not. He's just hanging out there watching the damage, so to speak. As Shop Awesome now pulls a little sweet. Oh, wait a minute. Nice maneuvering there. I think he's taking way too much time here, however showboating rather than going in for the win. You can't do that with someone like Little Sweet who's known oh what a move for coming out of nowhere and into the cover a long two count I'm just saying that if he should, I would have gone for the cover a long time ago instead of taking so much time in between as now Little Sweet is back in control, right hand, look out here, rush leg sweep, indeed it is, what a move. End of the cover. Oh my. And this is not looking good. Oh my, sweet dreams. Little Sweet has shown up for vengeance, I should say, shown up for the social outcasts. You might say a little sweet might be the MVP of this one.
What an impressive move here. Look at this. This is Brock Brown with the Brockapella. <laughs> we heard the mocking of Brock Brown to the awesome ones. So I guess we kind of had an idea that Brock Brown was confident for a reason as well folks we got your winners <laughs> and winners of this sort this match are the social outcasts and